Okay, how's it going, dudes? Today we're gonna be checking out Lux. Woo. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Luxana Crownguard. She was one of the two children born to the prestigious Crownguard lineage, which was the family tasked with protecting the king. The other kid was this dude right here. From an early age, both Lux and Garen were taught to fight, ride, and hunt. Garen chose to follow the family tradition to join the Dauntless Vanguard, one of Demacia's elite fighting regiments. Lux had a different dream. She wanted to explore the world beyond Demacia's borders, which her parents weren't too hyped about. They wanted her to take up the role like defender of the family estates. Even though this wasn't really what Lux wanted, she thought, eh, whatever. I'll just put my ambitions aside and do what they want. One day, Lux was out riding the northern mountains. She was on her way home when her horse's footing got fucked up by a patch of ice and fell. Lux was stranded. She knew if Garen was there, he'd be like, yo, just kill the horse and cut, bro. But she didn't want to kill a horse she had ridden since she was a child. So Lux just chilled there with her horse, preparing for a night alone on the mountain. Lux's dad and Garen rode out to find her. They searched all night and eventually found her next morning, surrounded by six dead saber wolves all burnt up. Lux didn't want to explain what happened and just wanted to go home. Since that night, Lux knew she had magic abilities. She had to keep this a secret, cause, you know... The Masia don't like mages. Her own uncle died from a mage, and Garen fucking hates mages. She got scared of her powers a bit because she thought she would turn evil or something. But over time, she learned to accept her powers. Lux would sneak out at night into the forest and practice controlling her magic. When Lux was 16, her and her family traveled to the capital city of Demacia for a month to witness Garen's ceremony where he would join the ranks of the Dauntless Vanguard. While she chilled in the capital, she went around helping those in need with the religious order of Demacia known as the Illuminators. She befriended a knight of the Radiant Ones, which were the warrior order of the Illuminators, named Kahina. At night, Lux would still go out into the forest to play around with her abilities. One night, she stumbled upon a nest of flesh-eating creatures eating up dead dudes. Lux followed them to their lair in some cave and found a bunch of them. She attacked them and killed dozens of them, but she underestimated their numbers and they eventually surrounded her. The Radiant Ones came out of nowhere and fucked up all the monsters. Kahina was like, dude, what the fuck? You're a wizard? No way. So Lux was escorted back to Demacia and was presented to the innermost circle of the Illuminate. She was given a choice of either getting exiled for being a fucking wizard or use her powers beyond Demacia's border to go on some secret missions. Lux accepted the secret missions choice obviously and told her parents that she would remain in Demacia to join the ranks of the Radiant Ones. They were surprised but were happy that Lux finally found her place in Demacia. The next few years, she would go on missions infiltrating lands outside Demacia and fucking everyone up with her powers. To her brother and family, she is a loyal servant of Demacia. Which is true, just not in a way they would ever expect. And yeah, that's how Lux became Lux. The end.